Good morning, everyone. This is Rahul Varshne with Occupy McAllen TV. It is Friday, November 4th, uh, 9.47 a.m. Very nice morning here in McAllen, Texas. Chilly, uh, rare cold front, um, and I'm looking forward to this weekend. I got my son this weekend. Should be very exciting. Oh, I just came back from a bike ride, so I'm a little, a little raggedy here. Um, so I'm doing a grocery list uh, for this weekend for my son, but that's not what I wanted to share. What I wanted to share was some of the reading I've been doing, um, and I guess some theories I, I have. For me personally, uh, I've been saying this for a while, it's the duopoly stupid. You know, we'll always hear these slogans, it's the economy, it's this and that. For, uh, me, a large part of the problems um, we're, we're facing are our current you know, a current system of, of having to be either a Democrat or Republican, basically to gain national office. Um, and I actually see the McAllen Tea Party and, and Occupy McAllen, I see both groups, both movements as political unions. Um, so what do I mean by that? I guess I, 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 what I see happening somewhere down the road, whether it's two years, you know, a year, two years, five years, um, new third parties emerging, emerging. So you might have McAllen Tea Party candidates, you might have Occupy McAllen candidates, but that's way down the road. In the meantime, um, you know, we're trying to fix the current system. And I'll share this. Uh, I voted for Nader in 2000. I was a big greenie. Um, and then I was working in, in the labor movement in 2004, so voted for Kerry. Didn't want to, but I did. Um, I think both the 2000 and 2004 elections were, you know, rigged. I don't even know why I'm using quotes. Uh, 2000, definitely. 2004, a lot of voter fraud. Definitely um, our voting in this country, our voting system is way outdated. And then in 2012, I got caught up in the wave, or sorry, 2008, a uh, wave of change, and I voted for Obama. And I really thought things were going to end. I thought the wars were going to end. I thought this corrupt, um, uh, you know, just these healthcare, healthcare system. Um, you know, I thought universal healthcare was going to really going to happen. A lot of things that I felt like I was duped about. You know, bailout after bailout. The list goes on. There's over, I think, a million dead Iraqis from all uh, the fighting over there, or hundred thousand, hundred thousand, a million, whatever. It's crazy. I think all the wars are corrupt. Anyhow. That brings us to 2012, or upcoming uh, next year, 2012, and the upcoming presidential election. And I think, uh, to simplify why I personally am voting for Ron Paul, or plan on it, um, is, or let, me, let me rephrase that, why am I pushing for his candidacy now? I think if you're still an Obama supporter, I personally am not, but if you're still hoping that Obama's going to change, then you have two options. It's going to be Obama versus the establishment candidates. Uh, what's that? Mitt Romney, Rick Perry, Michelle Bachman, uh, uh, Sarah Palin, whatever. Okay, they're pushing for war with Iran. They're still beating their drums. It's ridiculous the stuff I hear. And you know, Kane, throw him in there. Um, I think all of them are really off their knockers. And yet, uh, you have Ron Paul, who's had a consistent message, very simple message, which is that right now in this country, money can be can be printed by whoever the governing authority is, I guess the executive branch, from my understanding. So whoever's in power can just keep printing paper, um, and that's how the wars keep being funded. As long as you can keep sending, you know, U.S. dollars, um, there's even, I think I even saw some news story about crates of money literally being shipped to Afghanistan, like it was actual crates of money. Um, anyhow, point being that Ron Paul's message is this, uh, end this fiat currency, end the, the government's ability to print money at will, allow failure to happen, and these corrupt systems will naturally end. Um, now, whether you believe in his doctrine or not, the, my point is that if it's Obama versus Ron Paul in the 2012 election, then Obama will be forced to return if you want to put it that way, to his anti-war roots. He'll be forced to return to uh, a kind of message of change and anti-corruption and all this stuff. Um, if, you know, I don't think that's oversimplifying it. I think that's pretty much our only hope. And if the estab or or if the establishment candidates win, uh, Mitt, you know, Romney, Perry, Bachman, etc., Palin, etc., then Obama's going to be again trying to act tough and pretend like we need to go to war with Iran and all this uh, uh, BS, quite frankly. So, 
there you have it. Um, I, I hope that was under five minutes. Uh, I'm going to just leave it at that. Um, and uh, I, I wish everyone a great weekend. Um, there's going to be a lot of Occupy McAllen folks out at the Art Walk uh, tonight, I believe. There's also some bank transfer stuff going on. Um, but uh, that's some food for thought um, on, on how McAllen Tea Party and Occupy McAllen can, um, I think, shape 2012 in a way that's meaningful uh, for all of us and get away from this demagoguery um, and this fire and brimstone message of the world is going to end. Yes, corporatism is going to end, greed is going to end, corruption is going to end, and for people that benefit off such a system and only know that system, they may go through some suffering, but really that's just more fear than anything else. So with that note, um, peace out and love revolution, American revolution in full effect. Later. <laughs>